Are you knocking on me? I'm just testing out the hack cam. It's the baseball hat down, Dobie. It's the baseball hat down, Dobie. It's the baseball hat. It's the, it's the baseball hat. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, big boy? It's a big boy. Ah, you're out causing trouble, huh? Aren't you? Okay. How's it going in there? What are you doing in there? Nothing more. He's hanging out, charging the phone up there? Yeah, it might be quite 100%. Yeah, okay. Still trying to figure out what to do with the sink. Not sure yet. Okay, that's enough testing with the visor cam. Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's Sunday the 15th, about 1 o'clock, and um, all rested up from the fun weekend with my daughter, if you saw that video. And I'm still waiting for the second half of the Duraback that I ordered. It's supposed to be here Monday or Tuesday. So what I'm going to do today is um, I'm actually going to do a little more prep. So basically, I have two sides with three coats, one more coat to go. But what I'm going to do is go around on the front and then the other side and I'm going to make sure I countersink all of these screws that have slowly popped up. When I built this back in, I guess it was September, October, somewhere around there, that part, this wood was wet. I remember as I was drilling in these, these, these screws, moisture was coming out. So I think in a lot of times, a lot of these areas here, I think um, it has shrunk. So I'm gonna countersink all these, get them flat, and then on the other side of that coin, I'm gonna fill in the ones that are deep. And then make sure that all the way around the front, even though the front's gonna be covered, I think, and I may or may not do diamond plate. I'm gonna do it down here for sure as a protectant. And I'm, I'm, I'm still deciding on what to do here, but then I'm gonna go around the front and all the ones that are countersunk, I'm gonna fill them in with this uh, vinyl spackling here. See here and here. And then make sure any heads that are popping out a little, I'm going to sink those in. So I'm just going to really do a fine finish job on the front. This is the side we're always going to be looking at as we camp, of course. And then I'm going to say that I'm really happy with the finished um, dried coat. Again, one more coat to go here. But with two of the rough and one of the smooth, this has vi become very durable as I mess with it here checking it out um, but i am going to use that spackling to fill in some of these holes in these and these today so it'll all be ready to go next weekend when i have all of my product here when i was on that boat last or this weekend i noticed they use this stuff on the boat and i talked to the guys about it and they said it's it's as durable as it gets yeah this is the worst seam here so i'm going to spend a lot of time on the front side or you know the passenger side i'm going to try to blend this i've got a belt sander and i know there's a lot of wood here i can get down so i'm going to try to get it as sano as i can uh you know if i do the best i can do and i still see some stuff i really don't care as long as the water's out and at 55 miles an hour it looks good so that's what i'm going to do today so this will be a short little video and i'm some of you guys are probably saying thank god you and your 18 19 minute videos but it's coming along good, six month project. Gonna wrap it up in the next couple weeks. And then we're gonna use it a few times before I attempt to modify the trailer tongue like I talked about in the future. Gonna use it a few times. We'll take you on those camping trips, see how it all works out, so. <laughs> he's, he's using it right now. All right, everybody, here we go.
check some of my work here. Testing out the visor cam. Yeah, okay, so what I'm doing, people, is doesn't matter what goes on here. I'm gonna sand that, right? But as I'm filling in some of these areas that are already coated that I cannot come back and re-sand, I'm hitting it with this to push it into the texture. So tons of holes filled on this side. You can see between the glossy and the matte finish. And then that was a big hole. That was a big hole. And then I just went so that all of the extra stuff that leads out of the hole gets pushed into the same texture. See here? Is this wet, Dad? Some of this is wet. Yeah, that's wet, buddy. So when we come back with our final smooth coat, it'll just put it perfectly in the right uh, finish. So. No, that's not what I want to do.